And welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Rex. I'm Daniel. He's a level three whiskey sommelier. He's a level 5,000 whiskey mooch. And today we are trying Green Ore Single Grain Irish Whiskey. Said with no Irish accent whatsoever. Green Ore. Green Ore. Yeah. Any predictions? Uh, <sighs> oh, I really take a hot dump on rye. <laughs> I don't even know where to go with that. <laughs> well, let's do this. Here we go. Grain ore it is. Single grain Irish whiskey. Okay. They call it small batch. That just means they're doing limited runs. Okay. Doesn't uh, mean it's a small distillery because actually it's uh, a distillery owned. Okay, so this is a long, complicated lineage of Irish whiskey. That Started gonna, as Cooley. Yeah, you're gonna give me after you. No, no, no. Back. I'm gonna do it really fast. Okay. Started as Cooley, got bought out by Jim Beam. Jim Beam gets bought out by Suntory, becomes Suntory Beam. They rebuild and rename the whole thing Kill Kagan, which we have a bottle of. Not Kill Chilman. No. Kill Kagan. And uh, even though the distillery itself keeps the name Cooley, it's officially owned by Beam Suntory. They're the ones making green ore. This single grain, and if you remember, all that means is grain whiskey. Yeah. Made at one distillery. I'm right. getting uh, rubbing alcohol. 90, uh, you know what's funny? So I read a review of this a couple of days ago online. And uh, you cheated. the first thing you he just said. Admitted you no, cheated. no, no, I know, I know. It was a good review. <laughs> uh, the first thing he said was al rubbing alcohol. On the nose. I mean, See, that's a direct quote. Here's the thing. I don't have to cheat. <laughs> I'm not even a sommelier. Now, what he says is, as you sip it, it gets less rubbing alcohol, but it's all, always... it's the, and, and by the way, when you get high rubbing alcohol notes, right. that almost always means you're dealing with a grain whiskey. I'm sure rubbing alcohol will get less rubbing alcohol the more I <laughs> sip it. This is a 95% corn whiskey. Okay. That is an extremely high corn for Irish whiskey. This is a rye. This gets kind of a, this is like medicinal salty. No, no, no. This is a rye in a Irish whiskey bottle. There's no rye in there. This is Of a any rye. kind whatsoever. Nope. That's the grain shark notes. Nope. Made a rye. <laughs> they achieved the impossible of creating a rye whiskey <laughs> without using any rye whatsoever. I'm saying. Yeah. It is. It's a scientific marvel. <laughs> yeah, we're drinking a miracle of science. So if you're allergic to rye, fear not. Yeah. You can still experience a rye. There's still too many butter notes in there for it to be a rye. No, you're right. There's just no, no evidence. Every time, <laughs> no evidence, no backup. Every time you say, no, you're, wrong. you're wrong. I can't keep a straight face. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> no, you're wrong. Stop talking. <laughs> so the antiseptic does go away. Sure. But... The ride is not. The more I drink it, the more sweet butter notes I find in there. Especially swirling it around. There's no oil in this whiskey at all. I'm getting, I don't know, is it nitpicky for me to no. say butterscotch instead of butter? No, no. Because I Absolutely. get butterscotch, I'm not getting... I'm not That's getting... a combination of butter and vanilla. Burnt vanilla. Hmm. In theory. Now, Compared to kind of a traditional Irish whiskey, like, hey, let's get a Jameson, hey, let's right. get a Bushmills, this is a completely different animal, mm -hmm. right? You don't buy Green Ore 8 to just fill in your generic Irish whiskey gap. Hmm. No, no. You buy Green Ore 8 for its own taste profile. Because they ran out of rye. Because they... <laughs> Evidently, they ran out of rye. It is absolutely its own thing. It's still clingy. I'm still getting a lot of aftertaste to that. Yeah. I don't mind it. I don't like it either. As far as I should say, I don't love it. Right. I would drink it and be happy because but it's whiskey. If know? I was in the mood for rye. <laughs> okay. It's rye! I'm sorry! Yeah. It's totally a rye whiskey. And again, coming from a person that isn't actually any kind of small. Yeah. I think it's iron ironic that they call it a delicate whiskey. I don't know that I would describe this whiskey as a delicate whiskey. Yeah, it's, uh, rubbing alcohol isn't really the most delicate of alcohols. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's reminding me a little bit of uh, Red Breast, but way less interesting. I've never had that. It, yeah, we, we drank it the other day. If Red Breast, 
probably should say this when you can actually hear me. If Redbreast was a less rich and complicated and more earthy, mm -hmm. then this is like a it, young breast was younger and didn't have a lot of. All right, so give me the complicated version of this. <laughs> I'm watching. I'm watching. I know what happens when my back is turned now. I'm putting nothing in your glass. Yeah. That you can see or smell. I'm going to get roofied. <laughs> Where's. Ah, you know what? I can't find the red breast 12. Mm. Someone moved my red breast 12. In the meantime, here's the thing it's not that I dislike this. Uh, it's not my favorite. Just kind of like rye isn't my go to whiskey of choice. It's. Um, if I'm in the mood for this particular kind of whiskey, it could be fantastic. I'm usually in the mood for something else, though. And other people, this could absolutely be... Right at, you can't do it! The f*** wrong with you? Someone drank my Red Breast 12. I can't find the bottle. We are now at DEF CON f***ing 5. Because <laughs> I successfully pulled off a mooch, <laughs> and you failed to deliver. Yeah, yeah, that's true. All right. So, oh well. Well, what are you doing while drinking this whiskey? Other than going nuclear. Wishing that the store wasn't all out of rye. No. Uh, no, this... Uh, I'm gonna keep coming back to rye. I'm gonna make you smell an actual rye. Bring me a rye. Alright, we're just gonna go classic four-year-old Templeton rye. Okay. And you want your burp glass? A little bit of this here. <laughs> now, a while ago, because Rex is 12, he burped into a glass and tried to get me to smell it. <laughs> and you can tell from that laugh, that actually happened. I am not making this up. It was surprisingly effective. I yeah, mean. yeah. I refused. He smelled it and almost passed out on the floor. Gosh, you share too much. <laughs> totally worth it. Because up until that point, people could assume I'm not nearly as immature as I tend to be on video. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I actually am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this is the rye rye. That's actually rye. And now you're going to see the difference. And by the way, what I'm asking, what we're doing right here, dude, this is black licorice. Yeah. So that's, see, that's what you're not getting in that one. That's, just, that's all butter and malted, unmalted butter. Okay, so what we're doing right now is something you should absolutely do. Anytime a whiskey reminds you of something, if you can, go find it, yeah. buy it, try it, and understand the differences between what your brain remembered. Right and what you actually experience when you try it again. Because this is not this. No, absolutely not. not. Close. And that's why this is black I liquor. said that's not no, rye. No, how much are you screwing with me in terms of this being the quintessential rye? No, it's just a classic four-year-old rye. It's extremely simple. There's no fanciness going on. It's not like a rye with a weird finish or a rye with a weird barrel. This is just a classic MGP rye. Have you tried this? This is black licorice. This is oh, yeah. I don't bit, like you know. black licorice, and that's why I don't drink. Well, then don't drink my whiskey, son of a... Yeah. Yeah, see? Okay. That's actual rye. This is... So this is something... Now that's... you come back to this. Oh, okay. It's oh. wildly different. I will show you... Ah, uh, come on. Let's hope I have the bottle. No, I don't. I drank it all. Oh, no. But there's an alternative you can get. It's surely very similar. Yeah, so there's a, a Scottish single grain whiskey. Mm-hmm. That's uh, called, uh, uh, shoot. Here, I'll help you get uh, It starts with a G. Gelvin, Garvin, Garvin. It's this one. Yeah, anyway, we'll no, it's not one. that one. We'll do this one. <laughs> this is... Now he's just randomly pulling crap. Yeah, whatever we need to end this video before I run out of whiskey entirely. <laughs> All right, so it's till, till tomorrow. May your crazy stay this side of legal. May you return before we have time to miss you. Cheers. Cheers.